What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. It is a gloomy Monday. But we ain't gonna stop that. Let that stop us from making some money. We are currently in Millville, New Jersey. Our, uh, it's about our, been here a couple times. Nothing spectacular. Some uh, um, vinyl fencing. When you look at it, it looks like insulation, but it's not. It's actually vinyl fencing. It's, it's wrapped the same way. If you can tell. It's all wrapped the same. It looks like insulation, but it's vinyl fencing. It's a little heavier. It's like 30-something thousand pounds. On our way to Illinois. No local trip out of here today. Going to Illinois, got a delivery for tomorrow morning. So, we didn't book a reload yet. I mean, there's plenty. Thing is coming from out of there, so. But there's a couple loads that I saw that uh, I got my eye on, so. I don't know if we want to come back, uh, come back this way or stay out. But the rates coming back, the rates coming back east is so good. It's like I can't help myself. They got one on there coming back to Philly, paying like 380 a mile. They got one going to Maryland, paying like 280 a mile. But the one coming back to Philly doesn't leave, doesn't pick up till Thursday and delivers Friday. The one going to Maryland is a lot lighter. Because the one going to Philly is like 40, I think 44, 45,000 pounds. The one going to Maryland is 30 something thousand, it's like 30,000 pounds. But the one on Maryland picks up Wednesday, delivers Friday. And the one going to Philly picks up Thursday, delivers Friday. Or we can go out to, you know, nice paying Lewis going out to Arizona or something like that. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. And get this one out the way. We'll figure it out as, uh, as the day goes on. loading up another truck in front of me now but they don't start loading till eight look like they do it eight on a dot so i did spend a night here last night because actually i wanted to save all my driving time because i'm like an hour i'm an hour and a half from here i'm an hour and a half from here so I just came here last night. They got a little, uh, got a cul-de-sac down there and then it's right past the entrance. There's like a little cutout you could park. So I just parked there, spent the night. I would have been number one in line, but he got here like 7.30. Usually they don't let you in the gate till eight, but there's a different guy working security today. So it is what it is. I really ain't in no rush. This. I got to three to deliver tomorrow, and then if I do take one of my other loads, I ain't picking up till Wednesday or Thursday anyway, so I ain't in no rush. Because my son's birthday is on Friday, so I gotta get home either way. So just see if I wanna, I might just take the one going to Philly, just sit there till Thursday. Because that one's like, where I deliver to, it's like maybe, 15, 20 minutes from my house. So, instead of going to Maryland, because that one's going to a construction site, instead of going to Maryland and slap the deadhead from Maryland all the way home, so. And plus, I won't go to Philly pays more, so. I picked it up Thursday morning, deliver it Friday, spend a weekend at the house, and come back out on Monday. So. I'm not going to bore y'all with the loading and stuff because I'm sure y'all seen that plenty of times. So I'll be back with y'all when uh, I'm loaded, strapped down, and uh, ready to go. What's going on, folks? Checking back in. We made it to our delivery in Joliet, Illinois. About to... Uh, 
and strap and taking these straps and stuff off. Hope I don't get a flat driving through this damn lot. It's just, it's just stuff everywhere. If I do get a flat, I know where the hell it came from. Y'all, I'm right going to forget you. Hmm. Uh, I know what I do. Be right back. So my damn straps are wet from driving in the rain for the last two days. My damn edge protector on there. Uh, oh, came off already. <clears throat> Can't lose those. But I'm about to stop it, uh. I'm about to place an order at my T and stop on the way back home. Well, on the way back east, and buy some, buy some extra tackers and some, um, some more straps and stuff. So I'm just place an order for pickup.
Things heavy as hell, they so fucking muddy. So scrap so damn wet, they heavy as hell.
was cloudy with a temperature of 66 at the cow, 64 at Juliet, and 60. Now it's not yours. The bottom. Just the top. This one on the top one. Yeah, that one ain't yours. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks, Bot. Thank you. How's it go around that way? Uh, or back out that way? I don't recommend you that way because there's a lot of nerves there. So. All right. <laughs> well, around back there. All right, man. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks. He said, I don't recommend you go that way. <laughs> All right, folks. All unloaded. Now we gotta go. We have a reload. It was three of them on the board. One pickup today, one pickup Thursday, one pickup Friday. Now I wanted the one I picked up today, but the lady was like, oh, I don't think you're gonna make it because I have to be there about one. It's 10 o'clock. So I might be able to make it. I might have put it in navigation to see exactly how far how long it's going to take me to get there. Because if I can make it, I'm going to see if they can swap my load out. Take back the Thursday load. And give me the load for today. If not, there's a truck stop right down the street from there. We'll just go sit there till, till Thursday. Unfortunately, it's Thursday afternoon that day. The appointment for freaking appointments for two o'clock. And they was like, Can you deliver that on Friday? Hell no, I can't deliver it on a Friday. You want me to pick it up on Thursday at two o'clock? And I got a tarp it. And you want me to deliver it by Friday at four o'clock? Yeah. All right, it's so an hour and a half away since I get there at 11.30. All right, I got more than enough time. So I'm about to call them and make sure they're still on the board first. I'm about to call them. We're still on the board. I'm asking for it. And uh, hopefully we get out of here today. If not, then we see it to a Thursday. But I'll let y'all know in a minute. What's going on, folks? Checking back in. So... Uh, it's, where should I start? Where else did I leave off at? Now I can't remember. Um, we delivered. Oh, yeah. I was calling a broker to see if I could get that load for Tuesday. And she said, I don't think you're going to make it in time, so call me in the morning. No, it was Tuesday. She gave a load away. That's what it was. She gave a load away to somebody else. So we ended up with a Thursday reload. So we went to the Loves. Today is currently Wednesday. So we went to the Loves yesterday. Um, spent the day there. Took a shower. You know, all that good stuff. And I don't know what it is about reefer trailers, or reefer trucks. I can't avoid them damn things. I live like, it's like 1130 in the morning, 12 o'clock. Truck stop basically empty. So, I was like, all right, ain't, ain't nobody here. I found me an end spot, which, you know, reduces the chance of a reefer parking next to me. Get an end spot, I park. It's nice up here in Illinois. You know, it's like 65 degrees, wind blowing, got the windows down, chilling. Like, it's nice out. Don't you know, 20 minutes later, guess what pulled next to me? A freaking reefer. I said, bro, I can't freaking win. And it wasn't a quiet reefer. You know, some reefer, some reefer trailers are new ones. You know, they... They a little quieter than so. No, this one was loud. And he had an APU to boot. So now that I'd had to hear the, the reefer trailer running, I had to listen to his APU running also. So, 
I kindly put my shoes back on and stuff and got in my truck and drove off and we'll find me another spot on the end away from everybody else and you know what happened then too another goddamn reefer pulled next to me I said man so I had no shower credits at the loves so I went to the TA I'm in Rochelle so there's a TA not just like maybe seven minutes away I had to stop at the Walmart too because I couldn't find an HDMI cable for my damn my damn uh, Xbox I'm gonna go play the fucking Call of Duty and couldn't find my damn HDMI cord so I had to go buy an HDMI cord so went to the TA huge that's one reason I like to see a huge parking lot find me another end spot Ain't nobody coming for hours. It start getting a little dark. Yeah, you guessed it. Had another reefer. Just, I gave up. I was like, whatever, man. Like, I just put my windows up. Turn the turn turn the EPU on. Turn the air on. It's like I was. I was sort of trying not to do. Like, I, you know, enjoying the fresh air and stuff, but I guess it wasn't meant to be, so whatever. This man is struggling with this tire. So I got this Western Express driver over here. And from what I was taught, you put your back tarp on first. But this man put the front tarp on first. And then put the back tarp on. So the back tarp is overlaying the front tarp. And now... He can't get the damn back to cover. Because he ain't giving enough of stuff. Yeah. Whatever. But. So, I got a Thursday reload. I tried to call up here. We were at a Western Pipe in Rochelle. Call. Because my appointment is for Thursday at 2 p.m. I was like... I, I, y'all gonna take up my whole day and y'all want to just deliver by Friday and I gotta be there by 4 not not gonna happen and I gotta tarp it so I called her I was like is there any way possible you can get me an earlier appointment she was like uh no appointments are pretty firm this day and the third I was like alright I, I, I stuck with that so last night I slept on it I was like you know what I'm going to call Western Pipe directly and see if I can get me another appointment. Nobody answered the phone. No. The shipping lady just keep going to voicemail. I was like, all right. I said, let me call the office again. Let me call the agent. Yeah, I'll get somebody different. Call phone rang about 15 times. Somebody picked up the phone. The guy answered this time. I was like, okay. I told him, gave my truck number, told him who I was. I told him where I was picking up. He was like, yeah, the appointments are firm. But he was like, sometimes they take drivers early. He's like, you're supposed to pick up tomorrow. He was like, just go up there and check in. And he said, if they got room, if you know, if they're not busy, if they got room, there's drivers up there that's been just checked in earlier and get loaded. I was like, I can say less. Get myself together, get in the truck. I get here. Actually, I got here like around about one o'clock, close to my two o'clock appointment time for tomorrow. And I checked in at the guard shack and everything. They told me then they'll call me when they're ready for me. So big shout out to the agent out there in Chicago. Shout out to Chicago office for uh, giving me that good piece of information. So, what's up? What's up? What you need, bro? You want me to hold it on the other side? Yeah. All right. This is too short. All right, hold on. Like this. Like this. Oh, you want me to roll it? All right, hold on. One second. Oh, you want to go, bro? Yeah. Are they broadcast or something? Huh? Are you playing broadcast? Not do YouTube. Thanks. How long you been?
you been Western Express? <laughs> three months. Been three months? Worked where before? Western Express? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't go to Western Express. I wouldn't be here for But did they uh did they they gave you a tarpon class when you was at Western Express? I mean they do. Just uh over the YouTube. They gave you a tarpon class on YouTube? Because usually you put your back tarp on first and then you put on the front tarp. Because what's gonna happen is, as you drive down the road and air gets in here, it's gonna balloon the whole second half of your tarp. Oh yeah. You usually put the back on first and overlap the front over I the know, back right? to stop that. Maybe I can use this. Yeah, just take, just take those off, peel that one back a little bit and put that and then flip it and just put it over. Cause you're gonna start driving and all that air is gonna go in there. That's gonna balloon that whole back end. Western Express gave this man a tarpon lesson on YouTube. Bruh, I done heard it all. And you heard a trade on the horse's mouth. They gave this man a tarpon lesson on YouTube. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that, that's crazy. I ain't. Wow. <laughs> Sheesh. No wonder the damn Western Express tarps be looking like that going down the road. They give these people YouTube classes on how to tarp and uh, I wonder if they give me a YouTube class on how to strap too. Damn. That, oof. Anyway, where was I? Uh, I don't even remember, but we're here. They got an East building and a west building. So, you basically come in, check in at the guard shack, you give them a, it's a little QR code they send you. You give them a QR code, they check you in, and you just basically sit and wait. Now, I use Truckers Path for my GPS, and somebody posted a review right before I got here. He said he'd been sitting here six hours, waiting to get loaded. So, I got plenty of time on my clock. And I'm, I'm a day early anyway, so I ain't, I'm, I'm in a win-win right now. Even if they get me some time tonight, I'm doing a split. So I ain't really losing no time. I'll have my whole clock. So if they get me tonight sometime, I'll just drive all night. It's a 13-hour drive from here to the destination. You know, if they get me 5, 6 o'clock, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, hey, look, and I drive to like 2, 3 in the morning, Take 10, and I'll be there tomorrow to deliver. So, I got my trail up empty for the weekend. That way I can pick up and find me a little first thing Monday versus having to deliver on Monday. So, I'm in a win win right now. So, right. I'm gonna text me. Next time my phone go on, I'm thinking it's a text. But it's not. I know I got, I know for sure I got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, allow me, try to count. Cause some of these trucks don't leave. Cause look, this company right here, they got like five trucks here, so they must got a dedicated out here. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. They got eight trucks in front of me. And they all missed the SDB Express. Do you know they take an hour a truck? That'd be what? Eight hours? 
Well, 10 o'clock tonight. So, we'll see. They've been knocking them out pretty fast, though, because I didn't know you had to check in at a guard check because I actually came in the wrong entrance. I came in already on the west side. And when I just saw a check inside, I went straight there. But the guy was like, you got to go to the guard check. And that actually was his first driver you see driving past there was just backing in to get loaded when I got there. So, and I ain't even been, that's only been not even a whole hour. So, that wasn't even a whole hour. So, we're, um, and they're working on the second truck now. So, and that's the building I'm supposed to get loaded at, is the West Building. Not unless they're loading everybody in the West Building, not sure. But, we'll see. Uh, they said in the description you're supposed to use the customer's tarpon station but I don't think tarpon station is down because everybody's tarpon in the yard so I don't know what's going on but as you can tell by it's only too it's only too hot so it ain't that bad I might not even have to use my 8 foot drops I could probably use a Mercer tarpon for that I'm going to have to measure it when they get on the truck because the Mercer tarps are 16 and a half by 27. So, and it don't take up the whole trailer. Because he got about good, almost five feet on the back end. Just about, and another two, three feet on the front. So, the guy's about 40 feet. So, but the Mercer tarps don't have flaps. So, I don't know, we'll see. That's why I, I need them X. I need an extra, I need like an extra feet or two for the flaps in the front. So, 27, 27, 54. I should have enough. I just gotta check the drop. So, but, we'll figure it out. We'll get it together. If I measure, if I measure, even if it's like four and a half feet, I'll still do it. Cause it's 16 and a half, so I get an extra half a foot to play around with. So, we'll get it. I need one of these nice trailers. All aluminum. Got the little rack in here. You put your gun in, your tarps and stuff in. But I wouldn't get my tarps there. Cause uh, you park in certain areas, you ain't gonna handle tarp when you come back out. And look, I fixed the bunches. I took them out of that damn cardboard box and put them on the trailer. So I did something while I was uh, sitting around twiddling my thumbs. So, but I'm just rambling on. I'll uh, check back in with y'all when they give me a call. What's going on, folks? Checking back in. Um. We're uh, in the bay finally, getting loaded. I can't say finally. <clears throat> yesterday, I ended up yesterday I got here. You know, I checked in early this day and the third, and we didn't get loaded. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really didn't bother me that much because. I really wasn't supposed to get loaded any yesterday anyway, so basically took a chance, gambled, and we lost. But, you know. But we are getting loaded early today though. Today is Thursday. Today we're supposed to get loaded. Our appointment was flat two. It is now 720. So at least we get an early start to the day. Cause even if I would've got it loaded yesterday, that afternoon, by the time I would've got loaded, tarp and stuff, it would've been late. I probably would've only drove like maybe two, three hours. I was already tired sitting on this. I wouldn't have got that much further, but now we got a good night's nice rest. We got a fresh start to the day. And we all gonna get on this road. Uh, 
まださもうえup and ready to go one ugly ass tarp job but guess what I couldn't figure out how to use that damn tarping machine that shit was a pain in my ass so guess what it's on in it wanted it tarped it's tarped and it, it ain't going nowhere should ride good we'll see Oh, you got a nice little, uh, little scenery. Isn't that nice? So, alright. I'm gonna get on the road, stop, get some fuel. And, um, I'll see y'all good folks in, uh, Philadelphia on, uh, Wednesday, it's Thursday. It's supposed to be there tomorrow, but actually, I could deliver it. Can I deliver it tomorrow? today thursday early yeah i'll see you in philly tomorrow i'll deliver tomorrow so yeah i'll see y'all in philly tomorrow youtube i'm checking back in i actually already uh <laughs> i got here about uh what time was that nine at like 9 30. boom was for 11. then i get in there it's like oh your point was for nine i'm like well that's not what the agent said Cause it's like three Mercer trucks here. So I was like, well my app, it say 11 a.m. She was like, well, our paperwork say nine. I'm like, well, well, I guess I'm a half an hour late by y'all uh, standards. Like y'all gonna take me or not. So, but they squeezed me in, I guess. They wanna look at it. Cause they claiming I missed my appointment. So I'm at the car to agent. Nigga figure that out. But I don't know if y'all can see it. That that burgundy truck and the white truck in front of it is a both uh Mercer trucks. So I got them two in front of me. They still gotta get unloaded. So <clears throat> probably gonna be here for a little minute. Cause they got dedicated, they got their own dedicated um trailers they trying to get out. And <clears throat> Lo and behold, it's a, uh, <clears throat> they got J.B. Hunt doing their dedicated free. So, I was like, oh, isn't that nice? J.B. Hunt and uh, Western Express. But, well, the J.B. Hunt trucks are local because they're day cabs and they're pulling all the uh, Conestogas. But Western Express has an account here too because I guess they just drop and hook. Lucky them. And they got another J.B. Hunt Conestoga. I'll fold these tarps. <clears throat> Which is not my favorite job in the world. <clears throat> but somebody got to do it. I got laser in here too. I got everybody in here running that free. Should I let y'all paint? I could be home every day. How much y'all paint? I need a minimum of 1800 a week. Y'all give me that, I'm on my way. Let 
Salah gue mati yang keluar folks checking back in it's about uh it's been about um five hours and we just got finished getting unloaded got here at 9 30 it's not on <laughs> 2 30 so it is what it is i'm glad i didn't have a reload today because uh i wouldn't have made it so i'm just waiting for him to get this last little bit of uh stuff off the trailer so I can get out of here because that ain't my dunner so he need to take that dunner off um if y'all ever got to come to Accor in Philly pack a lunch because yeah and make sure you uh split your clock when you get here because damn but I'm gonna see what they're gonna do with this damn dunnage uh, not yet all right uh, never mind. I thought he was done. He ain't done. <laughs> he still got like three bundles on there. I can't see it out the rear view mirror, out the side mirror. I thought it was empty. It ain't. They so goddamn slow here. This shit's ridiculous. We almost empty, so. I'm gonna actually end this video here because. This is basically just the, uh, the end of last week. I'm just delivering on a Monday when I was supposed to deliver on a Friday, so. I actually had, I actually put in for a load. I'm still waiting to see if I'm going to get it, because, you know, y'all can see that. Highlighted in green, so it's going to go from Jersey to North Carolina. Those are the blue ones. I ain't really want either one of them. One don't need to the fifth. The other one actually needs today. But I leave out of New York and I ain't nowhere near New York, so. But as you can tell, there's only uh it's a little slim up here in the Northeast because you got one, two, three, four. You can't even count these. But these only lead till October 24th and they all go into the same place. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like those nine loads you can't even count. So you figure one, two, three. Four or five, we got seven loads on the board. That's it. So, it is what it is. But I put in for this plane for the North Carolina. We'll see if we get it or not. We actually been waiting for a while. I guess they're on lunch. 
But they should be coming back for lunch. They go on lunch from 12.30 or 1.30, so. We'll see if we get it or not. To, uh, thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And um, I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Hopefully that'll be tomorrow on our way to uh, North Carolina.